keeps it here. Richardson with a nice step back. Got to guard the three, cannot allow. Great job there by Jared Sam to get out. Not allow Gina Luscano to shoot from distance. Luscano and again, gonna take him though. And again, if, if Big Sky can pull this out and get a win. Great D. Excellent defense. For, it would force a three-way tie and uh, a five-point playoff. So we'll, we'll get to that if that indeed ends up being the case. We'll see. So we'll see. Uh, Robbie's going to stay put as we get a photo finish here. Oh. oh stepped out of bounds. Yeah, a little lack of awareness there. Shot clock was dwindling. Yeah, kind of by backed Dante up. Clark, yeah. Every good timeout, talk this one over here. Yeah, one timeout uh, for each team per game. See a Colonial squad up there. I was impressed. The Colonial squad was so impressive in game one of, of today's action. And just the fact that they were so aware of what they needed to do. Yeah and went out and executed their game plan and did it to a T. And again, and they just absolutely blew the Big 12 out. Yeah, you look at the standings, and again, you, this is why they're so invested in this. They need the swag to lose. Force a tiebreaker scenario. I think you should go to Jamal Ates here. He, he has been great in this game. Yeah, set a pick. Richardson missed him. Ates. Oh, that's a foul. Ooh. That's a good call. Yeah. Set up Luscondo, yeah. So Gino Luscondo out of Idaho State, whistle for the foul. Clark will have it up top for the SWAC. Chance to either tie this thing or take the lead. Just over three minutes left in this. Mosby with the clear out. Got the bigger eights on him. There's that mid-range game. Oh, Ooh. just a little long. Back iron. Kick out Richardson. Good contest there. Man, we've got some drama I'm here. I'm telling you, these guys are laying on the line. Oh, man. And you, you would expect Ryan nothing Richardson different. Richardson had a good look to win this game. Yeah, this is uh, – in, th in their mind, this is $50,000 on the line. Actually, 51. We have 51. Winner yeah. gets the, the grand here. Oh, Collins leaves it short. And Sam. Got to get a shot up. Shot clock. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, certainly. Luscondo with a couple of – Couple of bad fouls here. Man, shot clock at one. Yeah, I think they might have took out one of our LED boards. That, it's getting intense out here. Yes, it is, as it should. It's been intense out here. <laughs> also, six fouls for the big sky. Clark catch That's shoot. A foul. He's oh, fouled on the shot. The M1. And it's Luz Kondo again. Yes, it is. Just some mental errors here at the end of this game. So, yeah, it was going to be two shots regardless because now we're in a penalty situation, but he's behind the arc. Fouled on the two. So Clark here could could the could put the swack in front. As their Cinderella run just could may continue. We'll see. That was pure. That was calm, cool, and collected there by Dante Clark. Steps he's, to the line. He's done this before. Yes, he has. Yeah. Just a good player. And there you see it. If the Big Sky is able to win this game, we're going to have a tie break game, some drama. Yeah, but uh, the SWAC in front by one. It's 20 to 19. It's like Jamal H trying to get a three up here. Oh, they oh, fouled him. And Sam called for a the foul. They love Colonial's it. Colonial's pumped Colonial up. Colonial loves it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see Jamal A. <laughs> He's going to have a chance to win this game for his team. Get yourself a thousand bucks. Oh, you talking about some pressure. Eights. <laughs> oh, and the Colonial he loves it. He knocks down the first one. Thing is, they're, they're getting themselves a thousand bucks, but they're giving the Colonial a chance to play for 50,000. And eights. Oh, oh the, the Colonial loves it. Ro <laughs> Big Roke has a chance. So everybody celebrate. Big Sky celebrating, and Colonial as well because they're still in it. Three-way tie here in the pool. Love it. So the drama builds. We're going to have a five-point playoff. There's the bag of cash that gets thrown out. <laughs> Tate and Titus throwing the arm off. First, showing the arm off. 
So we got we take care of the cash first, and, and, and the Colonial coming down. Yeah, they're saying, hey, they're saying, hey, hey, they're congratulating them, but they're <laughs> saying we got to split that money. We, we took you guys money. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll, we'll revisit our five-point playoff scenario here here in just a bit. But we look back at uh, the clutch couple of free throws as Sam fouled eights behind a two-point arc when the SWAC was in front. And uh, Gustus and company, they pumped up. They got themselves a chance. They That's pumped all they up. Wanted. But what a game, man. What a game. What a game. Great game between two really good teams. Yeah, you, you would expect uh, nothing less. Have to think now going to the tiebreaker, if they're going to play right now, which I'm not, I guess I'm not 100% sure they are, but is the, is the SWAC affected by the fact that they're coming off a game right away? Meantime, we'll get back to that. Let's get over to the red court where uh, Missouri Valley's taking on uh, undefeated America East. And uh, we'll we'll get back to our tiebreaker scenario here with the with the SWAC and Colonial and Big Sky uh, once we get everything uh, in order and sorted out. Meantime, it's a 10-4 game. America East in front. And Trey Bell Haynes making it a 12-4 game. This, this America East team, though, is for real. You look at their, their roster, even. Trey Bell Haynes, the player of the year in the America East Conference. Tanner Leisner, a guy that scored. He's the, he's the leading scorer in New Hampshire's basketball history. Peyton Hens is just a solid guy, third team all honors. Oh, strong and, and you see drive. him get to the, the rim right there. And then Jahad Thomas, a first team all league guy as well. Just a strong driver. You get in the paint, they can make threes. They can score and hurt you in a lot of different ways. Thomas, we, we liked this game a lot yesterday. We lives in the paint. Oh, lives Just in a the paint. beast of a guard. Struggled with his shot a, a little bit, but uh, he was able to put the string together some. Uh, and some it seems like, to me, Kyle, the America East, the chemistry they have, they, they seem to really enjoy playing with one another, and they seem to really have a good idea for what each other is doing on the court. Yeah. Again, America East coming in here undefeated. They beat uh, Mountain West and Big South. Come in 2-0. Uh, and they control their own destiny. 13 to 4. They get a win here. And, and listen, every game matters because guess what? A thousand dollars is on the line, whether you're advancing or not. We saw it last game. Yeah. How high was the big sky? Right. You know, they, they don't have a chance to advance with the point spread once it got close, but still win a thousand bucks. Can't beat that. Yeah. 14 to 5 game now. A nice little drive there by Dr. Thomas. Yeah. Good size. Bell Hayes. Nice tap back. Oh. You know what? That's the player of the year in the conference, Trey Bell Haynes. Just going to work, get to that little right hand scoop. You're going to see nice little tip by Jihad Thomas. Get it back to the player of the year. Mm. Nice little Euro step action. This America East team, we've said it, they are tough. They just have so many pieces that can hurt you at any given time. That, that, that's his seventh point of this game. Seven of their 16. See right there, 14.6 points per game on the season, 4.3 rebounds, good enough to be the America East player of the year. Right now, you have to think the Missouri Valley, they're, they're in uh-oh time. Able to get a win yesterday over the, the Mountain West Conference. Going to have to have some shots go down. Right there. Tavon Walker needs to get to the rim. There you go, big fella. That's kind of been the story of this game. Missouri Valley just not able to make shots. Bennett Cook with the nice little rebound. Right jump hook. So another, another blowout in the making here. Oh, a little pick and roll breakdown there. And that's Tanner Leisner. Look, you scored 1,900 points in your career, and you better not give him a wide open layup because he can score the ball. I'm telling you. Nice right hook. America East could be joining the Big Ten as the uh, only other team to have locked down a spot in the quarterfinals thus far. We'll have, a, we'll have a third lock as we'll get to our tiebreaker game here between uh, the SWAC and Colonial coming up after here 
after uh, we get a finish here at the America East game, we'll get you abreast on everything that uh, that you need to know in terms of that. Yeah, the America East is a well-oiled machine. I mean, they're running pick and roll. They're they're running some sets. You just we talked about their skill set earlier, but they are so organized in what they're doing as well. Great spacing on the floor. They give each other a great amount of space to work with, so they can get their game on. And again, America East advances with a win here. They hadn't lost yet. They already got two thousand dollars. Up in that number to three G's with uh, with another score here. Got a warning on the uh, on the inside. Next will uh, next warning will amount to a, to a tech. It's Thomas. Oh, the story of his tournament easy, right there. That dude, he, he lives in the painted area and there's